Hello everyone and welcome back to Ravi Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today we look at something of a more aesthetic side of the Revit workflow and that's to do with representing curtain panels like this one there in elevation. So I'm sure you're familiar with this house here. If I go to the south elevation, that's the same house. But somehow as we can see these curtain panels, even though they are transparent in 3D, here they are again. In elevation, they just appear to be solid. And that has to do with the way, the default way of it representing in elevation views or also section. The same concept applies to sections. To make those appear transparent, you have a few options. The first and easiest one is to change the view type to realistic. And now they appear to be transparent, just like the material definition of them should be. However, I'm quite sure this is not always an option for many users out there because maybe the view has to stay with either shaded or hidden line representation mode. So we look at today how to make those panels appear transparent, even though in those modes. For now, to begin with, I'm going to make a filter that will take out and select those panels on the ground floor there and make them transparent for us. Let's go to visibility and graphics. We can then go to the filters tab and add a new filter. Edit new. This is where you can make a new filter from new here. And let's call this one curtain panels. For the category, let's select curtain panels from this list. And for me, I always check this box as well, hide and check categories. So whenever I go back here, I can be sure that this is the right filter for the right categories. Just quicker to check visually. And now you don't have to change anything else because by default, the first rule that will be created when you select a category from here is that the elements passing this filter needs to have the same category that you got there. So we're good to go. Let's click OK. Select the created filter and add it to the list. Now I can go ahead and override the surface transparency to be maybe 70-60%. The higher this number, the more transparent it's going to be. And now let's see that. Click OK now. And here we go. In one or maybe a few, very a few clicks, <laughs> we actually made this happen. But how about this door? If I select this door here, it's a curtain door, but it's not of the curtain panel category. The category name is here. It's doors, not curtain panels. That means we now need to make a new filter to get those doors. Let's go back to VV real quick. Go to filters and repeat the process to make the second filter. I will call this one curtain wall doors and apply that to the doors category. And now because we don't want to override doors that are not in curtain walls, we need to add some extra rule here. When I selected this door, I can see that the family name begin with curtain wall. So that's the rule we're going to use. Let's select family name begins with and then type in here curtain wall make sure you match make sure you match the case there capital C and capital W should be the same as in the family name click OK and add it to my list now I can use the same transparency override on those doors there we go you have them transparent now one here and one there this one, however, is also a curtain door, but the name doesn't begin with curtain wall. So we have to make an additional filter for it. You can quickly see already, this is not really scalable. If you have doors with many different types of naming for their family name. So just maybe have a good convention in place, have a rule to say all the curtain wall doors should have the family begins in the name with curtain wall. For now, 
Let's make an exception for this door. Let's call this one curtain door one. Apply to doors and now the family name one more time can begins with entrance door. Now I better make sure there's no other door that is not meant for cutting wall but have this um, text in their in, in their name. By the way, because this rule is very similar to the last one, you can actually click on the last one we made, cutting wall doors, and use a duplicate button there just to make a quick a copy. For now, I'm almost done with this one, so I will just confirm to use it anyway. And then let's apply this same override. There we go. Now, how about our windows and the roof light? The roof light is also a windows. Unfortunately, there's no way to filter the appearance of the component of a curtain of a window family. In other words, you can only override the whole window to make it transparent. So the panel will be transparent, the frame as well, the seal panel also transparent. That's kind of wrong. The, one, the thing you cannot do is you cannot override only the glazed panel. So for this elevation to work, I will need to use another trick here. Let's go and edit this window family. And then just select the curtain panel or the glazed panel. And now we go to visibility settings. I can now choose to make this panel not visible at the coarse level of detail by unticking this box. And now let's bring this back into the project. Nothing's going to change because the view is now at the scale of fine. But watch if I change this to coarse. You see? Much better now. And let's do the same now for this roof light family. The panel is this one there, really thin. But I can apply the same principle. Untick coarse and do OK. Bring it into the project one more time. And it should disappear, that panel there, yes. Now the, now the shadow looks right and you get the overall feel for this elevation much better than you had before. So the takeaway is, you can always use a filter to override the transparency of all curtain panels in the view, like this one here. You can try to name your door consistently so the curtain wall doors can be easily picked up by another filter and made transparent. For windows, Maybe, just maybe, make those windows as curtain walls. So you can use the same filters for the ones on the lower level. But I know that's a topic of big debate. Sometimes it's not pr practical to make windows as curtain walls. Up to you. If you have to make windows as windows, uh, maybe utilize that visibility settings in the window itself to make the window panel disappear at a certain level of details. Then you can use that level in your elevation to have a better view for the transparency of the window. Alright, so I hope that was useful for everyone. Have a try for yourself. Make any comment you like if you have questions or troubles following this. Subscribe to the channel if you like and I'll see you in the next video.